I was very critical of Dune Part 1, and I heard amazing first reactions to Dune Part 2. So I went into this movie ready for an incredible film. Is that what Dune Part 2 delivered? We're going to talk about all of that right now. What's up, you guys? It's Jonathan Carter, and today we are going to be talking about... The plot of Dune Part 2 picks up right after the end of Dune Part 1 and follows Paul Atreides as he tries to become one with the Fremen, fight with the inner turmoil of if he is the messiah, if he is the one or not, and also avenge his father. The one thing I really want to say about this movie right at the top of this video is everything that was on display in Dune Part 1 is amplified here times a hundred for better and for worse. So. All that being said, let's kick this review off with the positives. Right off the bat, what I want to talk about here are the visuals in this movie. The cinematography, the establishing shots. That aspect of the movie was groundbreaking, incredible. The scope of this film is immeasurable. And I don't think you will be disappointed in any way here in that department of this film. And that will move us into the world building. I thought part one had an incredible amount of world building pales in comparison to part two. That'll bring us into the mixed aspects of the film. The main thing I want to talk about here, the acting and the dialogue. Hold on, hold on. I want to preference that with, like I said, with the with part one, there's not a bad actor in this film. Everybody is doing a, a good job here. There's, there's no bad performance. I just don't think the script and the dialogue really does anybody any favors the two biggest examples of that in this movie are actually the three biggest examples of that in this movie are timothy chalamet rebecca ferguson and zendaya when you have talent like this in a film i mean why not use it more going moving a little into that the dialogue kind of failed everyone in this film i think the dialogue is the biggest mixed aspect of this movie i know the director talked about film is more of like shots and cinematography and less dialogue but i can't help but feel that that really holds this movie back the setting up of the story the moving of the plot is really lacking because of the dialogue the dialogue in comparison to everything else in this movie feels very simplistic oh and another example like i completely forgot about austin butler you have him in this movie and again i think it was wasted here i don't think they went in the right direction with or gave him the right idea behind his character i just was left a little unsatisfied and finishing this video out with the negatives same thing i said about dune part one the pacing i again had to snap my attention into this movie i i saw an imax that with a crowd with like with a crowded sold out imax and i i was still losing it i mean i had this giant screen in front of me and I was fighting to keep my attention going. That being said, that's not the entire experience of the movie. It is very interesting from the beginning. It really, really hooks you right at the right at the beginning, just like part one. But the difference here is that part two also gets you at the end. I don't want to spoil too much here, but when Timothy Chalamet, when Paul gets kind of more into his role in this film and you have a great action sequence at the end. It's very tense. They pull out the musical score and it's just like, it's just fantastic. But those examples is what makes the rest of the film, the bad pacing of it, the empty parts so much more prominent, but it feels like there are like middle sections of scenes missing because something really great will happen or very interesting. And then it cuts to something that is like completely dull. It's like you, you've you missed an aspect there, like a complete different scene that almost doesn't relate or like characters have completely vanished. And it, it just feels very odd of a fall in a movie when everything else is just so incredibly well done. I can't help but feel like this film is style over substance. A, an incredible world that you just want to dive into. But then once you get past that surface level, it doesn't feel like there's much underneath. It just feels like such a big missed opportunity. I wanted to love this movie, especially after the amazing reviews I heard about it, how it compares with Oppenheimer. It's this year's Oppenheimer, things like that. I think people are getting a little ahead of themselves. I did not have that same experience 
at all. So all that being said, I'm going to give Dune Part 2 a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching my review, guys. Let me know what you think of not only Dune Part 2, but of Dune Part 1 as well. Did my review upset you? I completely understand. Let me know all of that in the comments. Do you agree with me? Be sure to check out my review of Dune Part 1 that I'll put somewhere up here. And I will see you all on the next one.